Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jasmine McDonald. If you're new here, I post ballet and fitness related videos every single Tuesday, Thursday, and now Sunday. And if you're also new here, you may as well hit that subscribe button because you're already here anyway. Today's video, I thought I would just take you guys along with me how I get ready for ballet class. Now today, I'm not actually doing a ballet class. I'm teaching pretty much all day. Nonetheless, I still get ready like I would for ballet class. I wanna set a good example to my students and myself. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a bun today. I don't usually do a bun when I'm teaching, but I thought I would take you guys along how I do my bun, how I do my makeup, all that kind of good stuff. If you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm already changed, and the leotard I'm wearing today is just a little velvet and plum one that I have in one of my leotard hauls which I'll put in the link up here if you haven't watched that one already. It also goes down to the back and I figured I'd just wear this top on top. Um, a, because it's winter in Canada, so I should be wearing a sweater, but it's not really that cold. And B, I don't want to get anything on top of this leotard while I'm getting ready. And then the skirt I'm wearing today is just a little purple skirt, which I also have in one of my later videos, so I'll put the link again up here. I have tights on today as well. I don't usually wear tights. I usually just wear like bare legs when I'm teaching because I'm kind of over tights, but to be honest, really cold. <laughs> it's like. There's so much snow. So yeah, why don't we just get into it? I'm gonna sit you guys down with me. First things first, I'm gonna start with my hair. I usually start with my makeup, leave the hair till last minute, but I'm gonna start with my hair. Today, since I said I'm doing a bun, I'm going to keep it pretty simple. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. I know I have a video on my YouTube channel already of different hairstyles to do in ballet class, but today I thought I'd just do normal bun. So I'm just gonna brush up my hair first. And I just washed it yesterday. If you're a ballet dancer, you know how tricky it is to do your hair. And it's washed, so I'm gonna use a a little bit of dry shampoo to kind of make it a little bit more tacky. I use a lot. Now it does add a bit of volume, but I personally like that. I don't like when buns are like click back on my face. So I'm gonna use some hair elastics and I should use the brown ones actually because I have brown hair. Like this. Usually I would stand up and put my head over and bend over and <laughs> brush the underside, but I'm just gonna do it like this today. Try to get it as smooth as I can with this brush. It's actually Steven's brush. I get the underside. Now this is the part where I have to... There we go. You see, I'm kind of pulling it away too. That just makes it smoother. So when I put on the ponytail, it doesn't get all funky. Try to put it to the crown of my head as well. I prefer high buns and I like when a little bit of my bun is shown so I don't look like a cone head. <laughs> There you go, that's good enough. I'm not so worried about this bun. If it was an audition, I'd use hairspray and gel, make it really slick. I'd probably do little twists too, but I'm just frankly too lazy today. And I find with the twists, it'll leave a funny kink in my hair. So what I do is I pull some of my wispies out. I wouldn't do this if I was doing a ballet class because I'd get all sweaty anyways. But I just like to pull a bit forward so it's not so slick. And then I'm just gonna brush that. I got this new eyelash curler that's the same as my old one, but my old one just keeps breaking. <laughs> and of course I had to get pink. Just curl them. I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer on. I don't wear foundation. Um, I find that's too much on my skin. So I wear a little bit of concealer and I've been loving this Kosas concealer. I just like to put a little dot, a dot over, I had a spot there. I recently started to use a little bit of retinol. I've taken it out because you can see it's drying out my skin so much. So I've actually taken it out of my routine again. I know that's just the process of your skin getting used to it, but I couldn't deal in the winter with already having naturally dry skin and then again having even more dry skin with the retinol so i think i'm gonna just take a pause on that for a while guys let me know in the comments down below if you tried retinol and if you have any suggestions dermatologists where are you at i use a tiny the tiniest bit um eyeshadow i'm using the miss glam palette my mom got me for christmas last year i'm gonna use this gold shade it's kind of pretty put that on my actual lid and then kind of buff it out in the corner that Again, it's not a lot, but just an extra shimmer. And then I'm going to take this white one on my finger and then I'm going to put it on my lid. Literally just like put it on my lid, not even blend it yet. I find this just makes my eyes look a bit more open. <laughs> it is like eight in the morning and my first class today is at nine. So nice to look awake already. So much more awake. That's that. That's all I'm going to do for that. I'm actually going to add on that pink one in the center. I've never used this color. So I'm going to try it. Just on the outsides maybe. Ooh, I didn't see how pigmented that actually was. I'm gonna use it like this. That's so pretty. Just really subtle, but it adds a little bit of dimensions. Um, I don't like my face to look completely flat. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use an eyebrow pencil from, it's in the shade Coffee from MAC. 
and I have really thin eyebrows. I have a lot of brow and I like the shape of them, but not too thin actually. I have a lot of eyebrow, but they're just light. I don't fill in the whole thing. I just kind of fill in where it's missing. And then you see how boxy it is. I'm just gonna try to blend it a bit more. And again, just using my finger to buff it out. Next, I already curled my lashes. I'm gonna put on eyeliner and I'm gonna use this Fenty Beauty eyeliner. I have not found one that works better and I can't not my eyelid. I'm so sorry if you're a beauty guru watching this, but I can't. So I'm just gonna pull it a bit. And what I try to do with my wing, I kind of connect it to the end of my eyebrow, which also kind of goes up to my bun. So it's all <laughs> being brought together. Doesn't have to be perfect either, I found. And then I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara that always gets the gloops. I call them the gloopy gloops stuck on it. I have to wipe it every single time. I forgot to last time. It's been my favorite mascara by far. And I use this one as well as the Huda Beauty one. Now I have to be careful because I always end up getting spots around my eyeliner. If you guys have seen <laughs> my TikToks, it's just like, I'm surprised nobody's commented on that because I'm terrible at putting mascara on. I usually make a huge mess. I'm surprised nobody's clocked me for yet. Very surprised. And to be honest, I don't really care. It's kind of messy because most of my work is done from afar or through the computer anyways. So it doesn't have to be perfect is what I'm saying. And I have my iPad on in front of me just to keep track of time because I do have a class in 40 minutes and I want to make sure I'm not just taking forever doing my makeup like I usually do. Now that's usually all I do for makeup for classes. Sometimes I add a bit of blush but I don't think I'm going to. I find if I add too much, I just streak it out. And when I start to sweat, it starts to like slide down my face. So I'm just gonna leave it like this, put a little lip gloss on, maybe some lipstick. I'm pretty much out of lipsticks. I usually use this bite one. This is my favorite and my go-to. It looks very natural. Just adds another shade to your lips. So I'm pretty much out, but. I also already have on lip conditioner from Laneige because of the retinol situation. It's also dried on my lips and in combination with it being cold outside, I have the most chapped lips ever right now. I was actually considering not filming a video today because I was kind of self-conscious of it. And then I was like, eh, what kind of good example is that? You know, it's just chapped lips, it's not a big deal. I think it's just hard because sometimes the internet can be kind of mean. I'm gonna add a little bit of nude from Lancome. The internet isn't always forgiving, and I just have to remember to keep myself grounded and not let comments um, deter me from enjoying what I do. Not that I get a ton of hate comments, I really don't. So next onto the bun, I'm just gonna spray a little, just a little bit of spray. Now I have a cut in my neck from my cat. We have a baby gate downstairs on the way upstairs because we keep the cat up here, keep the dog downstairs because the dog always eats the cat food and then she gets sick. We don't want her to get sick and we don't want them to get in a fight when we're not watching as <laughs> Elsa's big, Luna's like tiny. So we keep them separate in the house. They still have like range of the house, but I knocked the baby get over yesterday when I was holding Luna and I let them kind of like sniff each other to get used to each other slowly. And they're kind of friends now. Like you've seen in my vlogs before, they're playing and stuff. So I was in between the baby gate with Luna holding her and Elsa was there licking her and they were having a good time. They were kind of playing through the gate and I just for safety I'm keeping her like hell and I knocked down the gate it went crashing onto Elsa and then Luna freaked out because it was really loud and she scratched me along my neck and jumped out of my arms ran upstairs also ran the other way it was dramatic so yeah that's why I have str scratches bun pins that I use are these ones they're from bun heads they're the only ones I can use really so brush out my hair before I start twisting it um my hair is kind of thick ish I guess I recently started using better shampoo and conditioner for it that's made for thicker hair. So I feel like I found what works for me in that sense. But when I was younger, it was so thick. I could not keep my bun in. It would just be flying out all the time. And my hair is really soft as well when it's washed. It's like super smooth. So yeah, that was always a struggle. So I remember my first year in ballet school, my bun would always fly out like every single class. It was a given. My teacher was like, you need to cross your bobby pins and then put in your hair pins. So I tried that, it still didn't work. Then I found these bobby pins and they saved my life. 
because honestly the worst thing to happen in class is for this to occur for your bun to fly out and to have a ponytail because when you're spotting your hair is just whipping in your face especially if it's this length it's just not fun so what i'm going to do for my bun i'm just going to twist it and now i have a couple of tricks that i use when i only have four pins like i do today I'm gonna twist it. Usually I'd use water as well, but since I'm just teaching today, I'm not really concerned about my bun. So I'm gonna twist it like this. It's kind of hard to show you guys, but I'm gonna twist it like this. Hold it with my hand. Keep twisting it until the end. This is where the water would be helpful. And then when I get to here, it looks kind of funny if I keep it like that. So I kind of tuck it underneath the top part of the bun. I'm gonna try to show you. And then I untwist it a tiny bit and I pull it sideways. So from the top, it looks flat. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a hair elastic. I'm gonna tie it at the base again, just like once or twice loosely. Oh my gosh, this is not working out today. There we go. Just so it's like that. And then I'm gonna start pinning it. It would be helpful if I had more than four pins. So I'm just gonna pin it on each corner and I'm gonna put it down and in. Ugh. Now this side got kind of messed up. So what I'm gonna do is rearrange my pins a little bit. There we go. Um, and again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I know I have some things flying out, but since I'm just teaching today, my students are literally not gonna see the back of my head that often, and plus I'm gonna be so far away on the screen, but this is the finished product. And what I also do is just brush these down a little bit, just to keep them back while I'm teaching so they don't get my lip gloss. And then last final touch, I can't not do class without dangling. I just don't feel like a ballerina anymore. That's pretty much what it looks like. The lighting's like way cuter here. I just want to show actual final product. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go to class in a little bit. Oh my gosh, I have to sneeze. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe and bye now.